Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, Alan, Alvin, and Truth Raider. It's all I got time for in Overdrive. As we uh, start this hour off with your phone calls. So let's go ahead and talk to Alan in California. You're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, uh, hey, uh, it's an honor to talk to you. No need to say that, brother. We're in survival mode, but thank you for calling. Uh, yeah, I'm out here in uh, Sonoma County, uh, about 40 minutes from uh, Bohemian Grove. And, That's right. Uh, on May Day, they like to sacrifice children all over the world. It's the high yeah, satanic holy day. I'm going to cover it later. Yeah, that creeped me out, man. When I heard about that, I was like, oh, man, are you serious? Why are you being bigoted anyway. against burning children? <laughs> Part of a culture. You know, they had a they had a shooting over here not too while ago. Uh, Andy Lopez, the uh, the twelve year old Hispanic, uh, shot here in Santa Rosa. And uh, they also had Oscar Grant and Thomas Kelly. You know, you know, it's like uh, they're trying to divide the people, but the government doesn't really care. You know what really color you are. They're just trying to use racism. You know what I mean? Yeah, I haven't played that video yet of the cops shooting someone running out of a was it a Walmart or a Target with with something they stole. So they shoot him in the back three or four times. We have that video. Yeah, yeah, we could roll that right now just to show TV viewers. Uh, but uh, that was in Long Beach. And I tell you, it's getting scary. I mean, we get treated worse than folks in Fallujah. Oh, man. You know, I was wondering, the people out here are looking for justice. And I was thinking, you know, I'm like, the reason why nobody's getting any justice out here is because uh, the NSA is breathing down their necks. And I'm wondering if well, we... Well, see, the... People, see, see, see... Phil Colt wrote about this, but France had something called the Panopticon, and it was a tower in the middle of a circular prison where you felt like you were always being watched by the guards, so you self-censored. The average is culturally run down the street naked. I don't mean literally do that. Stop caring. <laughs> Go, I know you're listening, criminals, and it's illegal and I don't like it, but you're not going to make me self-censor. I'm going to get in your dirty face and get aggressive. Thanks for the call. Alvin. Yeah. Alvin. You're on the air. Hi, in, in, yes, sir. From Connecticut. Go ahead. Hi. Thanks for taking my call, and I enjoy your show very much. Thank you. Call, called in a couple of weeks ago when Doug and Joel Hagman's were on, but you had to leave early. But I wanted to ask you, several of us have noticed that there has been an increase in the number of elites and leaders that are looking much older, tired, getting sick mentally and physically, even dying. We're even seeing that with some of their family members. We're wondering if this is almost like... A little divine intervention starting, almost like the scriptures with Passover, almost where the good Lord is starting to move against the folks creating the largest amount of evil. It no, no, no. We should pray that just like pl plagues came against Egypt, and yes. we should pray against the globalists that God bring justice upon them. Are you seeing that? Are you guys tracking that in your in your studio? Because if that's the case, no, no, the evil the evil, evil leaders are always incredibly unhappy. Hitler had all these diseases and problems and degenerated just during the war. Uh, I mean, they all look horrible. They're horribly unhappy scum. That's why they want to make us unhappy. Do you, do you think that that's going to continue? And if it does, isn't that an indication from above that uh, the good Lord is making his move on these folks? And well, this is the way providence it. works, and it's been proven historically. George Wash, you name it. We are, have courage. We do the right thing. We stand up. God will take us the rest of the way. So the so more, right, the more we put work. Exactly. That's a good. That's a good sign. I think it's something you guys might want to track because we're seeing it in the news. I'm not going to name names, but we're seeing this uh, just in the last three, four, five months. Maybe there's some indications there that something, uh, you know, big is happening. You know, and it's more surgical than just some kind of a nuclear war. You know, that would be great. You know, if that could happen. Well, no, I do pray that uh, the, the globalists reprint, wake up, and stop doing evil, or that God bring judgment upon them. Uh, so exactly. that's exactly that's a fact. He do you think that's starting to happen uh, both ways right now? Conversion, because they're looking internally in their souls, and, and also at the same time, maybe the good Lord is taking it, taking it and pushing it a little further now? I know there's a huge awakening happening, but also a lot of evil. I, it's just a big battle's about to happen. I'm sorry to Truth Raider, I'm out of time. Great job to the crew. Great job to everybody out there, the folks up at Genesis, all of our sponsors, and I want to thank God for all of God's support. Please pray for us. 
Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central for the Friday edition. And tonight, 7 o'clock Central, InfoWars Nightly News at PrisonPlanet.tv.